right, so last night I was reading through the comments of the my comeback video, and what was this? Gingers13 commented Taupo, because I was talking about my um, my goals and what I wanted to do, and I said something about just start riding again, club races, Taupo, and then my overall goal would be like Southland. And he said, Taupo question mark. Stop buggering about K2 man up. And if anyone doesn't know what K2 is, K2 is basically like a I'm pretty sure it's like a 200 kilometer race like right up north of the south uh, right up north of the North Island and it's just like this. Just hills and hills and hills and hills like. So if I was Michael Torkler, yeah, I would love to do K2, but unfortunately, my climbing ability when I was fit was not k 2 -able, and my climbing ability now is most definitely not k 2 -able. Take your clothes off What's in my drink? It won't let me doze off And depress, girl Over those on Zola And I've been up all night Sweating in my dreams I tried to run away But you're trapping me Romance reacted chemically Let's it off for a water ride. I'm about 16, 17k into, day, into today's ride, um, but obviously I still have no bike computer, so I have no actual data on how far I've gone. That's just a rough estimate. My uh, Garmin is still looking like this, very, very cracked in two places, and it, I put it on charge. I was wondering if I put it on charge, if I could get it to like boot up, and I was like, oh, then I can replace the battery and stuff. But I think I have a feeling the whole thing's pretty munched because I can't even get to turn on at all. But I put it on my bike because it looks real, real weird having this uh, open space here. So I put it on my bike for now so I can look at the cracked screen. So over the last couple of days, I've been doing a little bit of research on what um, a new computer I could buy. So, and with the comments from yesterday's video, I'm pretty sure it was. Yeah, yesterday's video. And when I, when I asked about um, what computer to get. So at the moment, I'm looking at the Garmin Edge 1000, which is a couple years old now, but that's always been like my dream computer. It's like real thin and it's real big. It looks like a bloody laptop sitting in the front of your, um, at the front of your stem. So yeah, there's the Garmin Edge 1000, or people have been telling me to get the Wahoo Element Bolt, which is about 80 to to $100 cheaper, and it's basically this, um, this, but Wahoo's version, and apparently it's way, way better. I don't know if it's touchscreen or not, I think it might just be buttons. I kind of like touchscreen. I really like just being able to swipe it and touch the screen while I'm riding, 
but I am open to getting a buttons because I think I had buttons before I had this. I've had this for a lot. I've had this for a long, long time now, and it was already starting to like halfway through rides. It would just like um like 50k in or like yeah I think it was like 50k in some rides. It would just like completely shut down and then you turn it back on and the entire ride was lost so you had to start from scratch you'd miss like the first half of your big ride so that was annoying and then sometimes it just wouldn't connect to satellite you turn it on and off and on and off to connect so this it's seen better days it's seen better days so um to let me know in the comments if you think garmin edge 1000 or wahoo element bolt i think that's what it's called anyway also some people have been asking um what these kits that i wear so the the camo one is exactly the same as this but it's just camo they're both um gordon mccauley's kit but i'm pretty sure he gets them made at this company here ccn oh i feel like i might have put cnn in the comments but yeah ccn is the um company that makes this kit and it's real nice it's got a big elastic strip there and it's got a fairly nice one on the arms as well which is pretty good so it keeps it up and it doesn't fall down and it doesn't roll up and stuff so yeah, this is probably my favourite kit I've ever ridden in to date. If I was to get the uh, Garmin Edge 1000, which is like, I think about that big, I'd have to get a whole new um, out front mount with the GoPro adapter, which is about, I'm pretty sure it's about $120. So that's another expense that I'd have to worry about. And I don't even know if the Wahoo one has a place that I can put my, Gar uh, my GoPro. So these are all things I need to take into consideration because I quite like having my GoPro down there because it gets real good race footage and I can get lots of things. I'm also considering getting one of the um, mounts that goes on the back of the seat just in here and there's this little GoPro just sticking out that way because I've never had rear footage of my racing so I'd be quite interested. I'd be quite interested to get some race footage from behind for um, like big group, group sprints and group races and stuff so then I could have a front angle and I could have a back angle so yeah, let me know what you think about that. We'll see what um, computer you reckon I should get in the comments below. Sit down nicely. All right, I think this might be one of Lucky's first ever times in my uh, new BMW. Well, not well, not my new BMW, but since I moved on from the Escape, because I haven't really let let her in uh, let her in here. But we are going to head off to a dog park or like a walking track. I'm going to take Lucky for a little bit of a walk. Good girl, Lucky. Good girl. Oh, don't get in the water. Don't. No, don't get in the water. You have to get back in my car. Do not get back in the water. No, do not get in that water. Okay, so theoretically that is the end of today's video. I am going to have a look at some comments and see if I can answer anyone's questions or if anyone has had anything insightful to tell me. Okay, Planes, Trains, Autos commented saying you can fix those screens. He's talking about my Garmin here. You can fix those screens. I had to get my Garmin Edge 1000 fix, sent it to Garmin five days later, back in hand, new screen. Your local bike shop may also be able to do them. Well, mm, I don't think my local bike shops are going to be able to do them. Um, but th I think it's more of a problem that they won't even turn on because I put it on charge and it will not even turn on. It's not even just the cracked screen. I think it might be completely destroyed, so it's time for a new one. Dan Trick Rider said, get a Wahoo. It's a no-brainer, bro. Um, we'll, we'll see. I really, I am a big Garmin fan at the end of the day, and I've always wanted a Garmin 1000, so we will see. <laughs> sitting, sitting. Alright, that is going to be the end of today's video. If you haven't given it a like, give it a like already, and subscribe if you haven't. Um, links to Chapter 2 Bikes are in the description if you need to get a new bike, or if you're looking for a new frame, go check them out. Link for that's uh, in the description, and I will see you guys tomorrow. Hey, lucky. See ya.
take your clothes off. What's in my drink? It won't let me.